post-festival party. I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? Then why don't we go together? don't come around every day, so we may as well enjoy it while we can. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai! Everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai. And now that you're all warmed up, let's switch up the music! Hey, you're Yoshizawa-san, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you.
was so exhausting, but what a blast! I feel like I danced my heart out back there. <sighs> Thank you! Wow! That dance was amazing! I know, right? I was totally blown away! <laughs> It's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Thank you. I'll be alright, though. The post-festival party was so much fun. Especially with you. See you soon! Apologies for being so distracted. I can't stop thinking about Akechi-kun. Are we really no match for him? Thank you. is never very popular. The older teachers seem to enjoy it for some reason, though. Here is actually somewhat capable. Ooh, is that our lovely student council president over there? Huh? Come on up here, Miss Prez. Do I have to go? That's not really the proper use for that phrase. Going to 
I made a fool of myself. Post festival party has never felt that long before. By the way, I'm surprised you were able to say what you did back there. Huh? I was at a complete loss for words. You really helped me. Thank you. This may be a little rude to say, but you were surprisingly reliable in a pinch. My sister always says if I get married, my husband should be someone dependable like that. Everything that happened with Akechi Kun. My final post festival party has turned out to be quite the unforgettable one. Oh, right. Here. If you'd accept this. I hope you enjoy it. Go home. Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Utaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go! The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, they're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that fa- <laughs> Troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir. I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for some. We may need to reform. Please, let me see this through to the end. This can. I know that you've been at this for a while now. If you can manage an arrest. I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. 
You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh, one more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain! Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? about it ever since mom died I, there was n no exit I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of my heart I knew I had to leave it but I, I couldn't do it by myself Futaba here sit down I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. Really? When she said she was gonna go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. So, Jiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the phantom thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking. That one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke 
I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? You think this is a game? You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So... Basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy, but what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all, run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. 
Don't you get it? If by chance you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Oh, I'm tired. We're gonna win, no matter what. I'll just add this. Focus. I'll just add this. 